the Necrological Service in honor of the late Helena Z. Benitez is hereby declared open. I am deeply saddened by her passing, not only because of our personal relationship, but also because she understood and supported the Muslims of this country. Manang Helen, thank you for opening the doors to the countless number of young Muslim women. Thank you for your unwavering dedication to the preservation of our diverse cultural identities, for enabling others to understand and appreciate the beauty of indigenous traditions and customs. Manang Helen, we will miss you very much. May Allah, the Almighty, bless you and welcome you to his kingdom. An educator, an environmentalist, a stateswoman, an outstanding citizen, an ardent woman's rights advocate, a promoter of Philippine culture, arts and culture. All this and much more speak of a life well lived in the service of the family, the community, our nation, and humanity. Her career and lifetime achievements speak volumes about how we can and how we must work together to help build a society free of widespread poverty and high inequality and free from the violent conflicts, disasters, and catastrophic climate change. It was natural that a strong woman leader would emerge in the person of Helena Benitez. Tita Helen became the inspiration of other Filipinas who were later elected, who were later elected to chair the Commission on the Status of Women, like Ambassador Rosario Manalo and myself in 1974. Tita Helen played the role of guiding and inspiring younger generations of Filipino women to fight for their rights and dignity as women. The struggle unfortunately continues until today when much of human trafficking and violence against women continues to blight of our women in modern Philippines.